Hello guys, this is Agnieszka from Den of Imagination and welcome to Giant Space Hamster tutorial for Whiskey's model series. This is a basic level painting tutorial, so if you are new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Step 1. Take black paint and a large round brush. Here we have size 4 and cover the base with an even layer of color. Add water to your paint to make it more liquid and start applying the first layer. Later the color may not be even or not deep enough, so most likely you will have to add a second layer after the first one gets dry. Step 2. Next, take alpha flesh. With the same brush, we will paint the light parts of the fur. Look at the box art or move to the step 5 and pause it if you are not sure about the fur pattern for the hamster. Of course, you can create your own pattern for him if you want. Feel free to do it. We are starting with the alpha flesh because we need the light grey of primer to make sure that our color is bright enough. Acrylics are paints that depend very much on the color underneath, so if we would put the Parasite Brown first, color for the next step, our Elphic Flesh would have a totally different shade and we would need to put much more layers to make it bright enough. Here is also the advice for the future. If you want your colors to be bright and vivid, choose a light color for your base coat. If you are interested more in dark tones and shadows, take Black Primer. Step 3. The second color for the fur is Parasite Brown. Together with a round brush, cover the rest of the fur of the hamster. Remember to add some water to your paint to make it more liquid. It is always easier to work with more fluid paint. Try to avoid overpainting areas that we've done with the Elphic Flesh. Of course if you do, don't worry. This is still the first layer of each of the colors, so while adding another layer, you can correct any mistakes that you did. To, easier, to get easier with the paint between the strings of the fur, move your brush in many directions. This will also help us to create a more even layer. Step 4. Take dark flesh tone and paint the hamster's paws. When you will finish, go back to each of the color of the fur and paws and add second layers to make color deep and even.
Change your paint for cherry brown. Paint the leather front and belts. Step 6. After leather, with the same color, paint the wooden boxes and barrels. Because we have here a lot of elements that overlap each other, add a little bit more water to your paint to make it a little bit more liquid. Thanks to that, with the first layer, the paint will flow much more easier in between the recesses. Afterwards, when this layer gets dry, you can add another one to make color deep enough. For now, do not worry yourself about other parts, so feel free to overpaint anything. Step 7. Next, take black paint. Cover with this the bags and wooden frame of the backpack. Use the same method as with the boxes. Start with thin, liquid paint so you can reach in the recesses. When this layer will be dry, add another one. Step 8. Before we will start with other parts, let's make our work easier and cover the bags and wooden frame with a thin layer of dry brush with cherry brown. Take a white brush with dry bristles. Do not dip it in the water. Just take a little bit of the paint on the tip of your brush and wipe it out on the paper towel, until you will see a mist effect. Brush the bags and frame with it. If we would do that later with all the elements painted, we would have some problems with avoiding ropes and blankets. But since the ropes and blankets are still not painted and the boxes are covered with chaired brown anyway, we can move our brush freely. Step 9. Now for the blankets, take elfic flesh. This time try to not overpaint other parts except the ropes. Here also work with two or more layers to cover any other color that could find its way on the blankets. Thankfully, elfic flesh is the color that covers the surface very nicely, so it should not be a problem.
strokes are quite detailed, it is very important to have the right liquidity of the paint. If it is too thick, the paint will not stick to the surface easily, too watery and it will run down the model. Add the water slowly to check the right density for those parts. Step 11. What's left to paint are metallic details. Take chainmail silver and a round brush. Paint the joints on the wooden frame. under the chin of the hamster. Do not forget about the belt buckle in the center of the leather plastron. Step 13. Now that everything is painted, we can proceed with washes. First, take chaired brown and add some of the fresh paint on your palette. Add a lot of water to it to make it very liquid and half transparent. Now we have a wash. Clean your brush, dry it out on the paper towel. After this, take a lot of your wash and start applying it on the fur of the hamster, both elfic and parasite parts. Leave the paws untouched. If there will be a place where the wash will start to gather excessively, clean your brush, dry it out on the paper towel and touch the brush to the place with too much of the wash. The bristles of the brush will pick up the excess of wash from the surface of the model. process goes for the backpack. Take black paint and add some of the fresh paint on your palette. Add a lot of water to it to make it very liquid and half transparent. With this wash cover the boxes, blankets, ropes, silver elements and the leather together with gold details. Left the fur and paws. Try also to avoid the black bags and wooden frame, but if you will over paint some of those parts, it's completely fine. Give a model time to get completely dry.
Step 15. Let's put some highlights on the fur. Take Parasite Brown and a white brush. Be sure for it to be clean and dry. Use dry brush technique on the orange parts of the fur. Try to avoid the white parts. Step 16. Now the same thing but with elfic flesh on the white parts of the fur. And also some dry brush on the arms, legs and head to make an undercoat for yet another color. Very important is that when we are working with a dry brush with more than one color, we should always work with a clean brush for each of the colors that we work with. So if you do not have more white brushes, remember to clean it before you start to apply another color. You can use water, but before you start painting it with it, wipe it out very thoroughly with a paper towel or just give it the time to get dry. There are also other cleaners like polish remover for example that get dry faster than water. Step 17. Now take Scrofulous Brown and again with dry brush technique add highlights on the orange fur. Focus especially on the parts that we prepared with Elfic Flesh. Thanks to the Elfic Flesh those places will be even brighter. It shows how much an acrylic color can be influenced by its undercoat. We are using one color on a slightly different surface and the shade appears very much different. After this step take also a fresh brush and clean the dry brush dust that appeared on the base. Now that our fur is complete, we can add some highlights on other elements. Take dark flesh tone and with dry brush, color the boxes and barrels. Try to avoid the ropes as much as you can, but if you do overpaint them a little, it's still okay.
Protect Earth, with this color covers slightly the whole backpack, except the silver parts. Step 18. Take L flick flesh and round brush size 3. Add some lining to blankets and the edges of the boxes. Add it to the ropes as well. With ropes, try to concentrate your brush only on the top of each of the twists of the rope, so the shadows between those segments remain unpainted. It is easier to draw the lining with the side of the brush than the tip. It makes the brush more stable and thus the line is more even. Step 19. Take dark flesh tone. Prepare both wide and round brush. First, take a wide brush and with dry brush add some color on the chest part of leather. Next, change the brush for a round one, mix the paint with water to make it thinner and simply put a thin layer of colors on the center parts of each of the belts. Take two colors, earth and elfic flesh, and mix them together. With this color, add lining on the belts.
Step 20. For a moment, take chainmail silver. Add the blacks of light on the gold and silver parts. Step 21. Take dark flesh tone and paint the nose of the hamster. Take rosy flesh. With a wide brush and dry brush technique, add highlights on the palms. With a round brush, add a line of light on the nose. Step 22. Use black paint on the clothes and eyes. With elfic flesh, add lines on the claws and small dots of light on the eyes. Step 23. For the last step, take chaired brown and add highlights in the base with dry brush.
For the second color, use Earth. With Earth paint, covers only a half of the base. is ready. Hope that you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Be sure to share your results on social media and tag us the love imagination. We would really like to see your results. If you have any questions about the tutorial or you would like to see a particular miniature painted, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, please click the subscribe button and bell notification, it helps the channel. See ya!